A big announcement coming up tomorrow for public transportation in Austin. The Federal Transit Administration will be in town to make official a multi-million dollar grant, the bulk of the money to pay for Capital Metro's rapid bus project. About half of the $47.6 million project's cost will buy 22 60-foot-long buses and 18 40-foot-long buses for the North Lamar South Congress and North Burnett South Lamar routes. Our Josh Hinkle joins us live from along one of the routes with more. Josh? Well, part of this project will include what's called a dedicated lane along stretches like uh, here on Lavaca. And this would be where the city would eliminate parking on this side of the street so the buses can run right through. And this is part of what's going to make this project so easy for people who use public transportation. For some, Austin's busing system is a convenience. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, it depends upon like what time of the day. For others, it's an option. Go to work sometimes, and sometimes go to get drunk. But for Larry Pope, it's a necessity. I ride him. I don't have a driver's license, so I got to ride him. His weekly trip to HEB for groceries wouldn't be possible without a Capital Metro bus. And soon, he'll get an upgrade. His route is one of those that will have a Metro Rapid bus by 2014. A standard Cap Metro bus has about 40 seats on board. This new Metro rapid bus can fit about 17 more. That's because you're adding a 20-foot extension. That's practically another bus so big it takes this accordion device to make the turns in the road. At 60 feet long, this bus dwarfs what Austin now has on the road, and passengers will be able to enter at any of three doors instead of one. Plus, special equipment will extend green light time when approaching traffic signals. We're going to be putting these buses on the most densely populated and traveled corridors in Austin. Cap Metro says these enhanced routes will carry more than 21,000 people per day. Yeah, the more the merrier. More frequent than other buses, these will have about 10 minutes between stops at rush hour. Something Pope says riders will definitely appreciate. They ought to be grateful. This project's also going to include several covered stations along the route, which will be about a mile apart. This will also have special electronic signs that will tell you when a bus is coming and if it's running late. And this is all set to roll out sometime in 2014. For now, we're live in downtown Austin. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.